Today I want to talk about my love of abstract art and how it relates to um, my love of landscape painting. This is here a landscape and uh, elements of realism kind of appear in it and like, you know, you can see, I hope you can see a car, a tree, <clears throat> but um, I did the car and the tree very loosely because um, when you look at my abstracts, um, the, the problem with painting abstraction is that you kind of have to have a structure and there are times when in order to find the structure again, I need to go back to reality. Um, so there's sort of a, in, in this picture, like you can see there's a lot of abstract mark making around here. Uh, you know, you can see the layers kind of coexisting and merging at the same time in your head. But if you look at this drawing, there's also a need for structure and there's a lot of stuff that's suggested and uh, not necessarily shown, but like the tree is kind of suggested. And uh, I get that from, um, <coughs> from Japanese uh, work from the 19th century, you know, the, <clears throat> the very calligraphic kind of Japanese uh, work from Japan, which influenced a lot of painters like Van Gogh and uh, Monet and a lot of Impressionists like that. So anyway, back to the abstraction. I've always loved doing abstract. I've, I consider myself an abstract painter. Um, but with a more ambiguous intent than simply abstraction for its own sake. Um, and there is a certain comfort in creating anchors of meaning that revolve around finite objects. Like, you know, when I saw this, this composition, it's kind of based around the idea of, of a, um, like a C, and but 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 how do you split that up into parts that can, that can that can dynamically jump off each other and interact? Well, I used the, the pontoons you see on the, um, you know, right here. You see them. I used them as kind of splitting apart the the, the expanse of the sea. Then I used I, this is the final touch. I saw that it was still very flat, and then I, I used it. Uh, the duck as a way to uh, uh, bring us back to the front space. So anyway, this is the first exploration of uh, some videos I'll do about uh, the way my abstract piece is. You know, like this and like that. The way my abstract piece is kind of interact with my landscapes, my piece is based in reality. So this is Jed Williams and I'm signing off. Hope to see you soon.